Oh, yeah, I think we're back here, I hope. <laughs> and uh, we're back. I'm back with Jason Wilford. Hi, Jason. Hi, Heather. How are you My doing? My friend, Jason, and your lovely wife, Nicole, is a good friend, too, so I'm glad to have you on this morning. Yes. And you're from Victory Village. Yes. And you were just sharing with me off camera that you actually benefit from the learning, the learning program here. Yeah. Um, I go to the vocational rehab uh, for the VA. So the VA approved Amador Community College Foundation for on-site training for veterans. So what I do is I take my Northwest Nazarene University online courses there yeah. for Christian ministry. Yeah. And it's one of those private schools that... Uh, Are expensive. Yes, yeah, but yeah. because the, uh, the Veterans Affairs is paying for that schooling for me, I'm able to go there, I sign in, I take my computer. If I have any questions, uh, oh, awesome. Michael's there, and it's really awesome. Oh, I love it. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, and so people should know you are uh, definitely uh, serving. And part of your, your vision here for the for the veterans is, um, you know, empowering them, developing them. And I'm going to talk more about that. But also your faith, you're very strong in your faith. And, yes. And going to school to be a pastor. I am. So that's awesome. Just finished my first year. Yeah. And it's, um, it's an accelerated course there. So Northwest Nazarene University Online for adults is classes are five weeks long seven weeks long yeah i know you're doing a similar program, yeah so similar, a little easier but yeah, yeah. A similar program we'll get yeah. through it we'll get, we'll get through. through it's a five-year program for me so <laughs> yes. i know it's it's got a long way to go, but five years is going to come and go anyway, it right? Fast. Exactly. Really so good. Okay. So tell us what is Victory Village? Um, Victory Village is a nonprofit veteran service agency mm -hmm. that started right here in Amador County, and our primary focus is uh, housing homeless veterans at our veterans center, yes. which is the old Amador Motel. Yeah. And we do a whole bunch of supportive services for those veterans mm -hmm. and interact with the community and other agencies like the county veteran service officer, the other veteran service organizations. We try to reconnect those veterans and get them reintegrated back in. The, the community. Absolutely. And we use all the resources we can. Absolutely. And we're 100% volunteer. Um, we're funded by community. Mm -hmm. uh, the church mm -hmm. funds us. A lot of donations, fundraisers. We have a veterans work crew that goes out does community service. Yes. So we're just this trying to help. Really, really reconnecting them because it's so hard. I mean, as you know, you're a veteran, obviously, yeah. and just what you go through and, and just trying to reintegrate back into the community must be difficult. For some you know? of it. Some mm -hmm. guys are not a problem, but a lot of guys have issues, or mm -hmm. and sometimes they're embarrassed. They don't want to ask for help. And yeah. And they get in a situation where they kind of we just make them feel as comfortable as we can, and yeah, and just help them out in case by case individuals. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely good. So, what do you have going on uh, now that you want to promote? Um, next week, um, Victory Village has partnered with. Caltrans District 10 for a, um, a veterans orientation okay. and the orientation is going to be focused on employment and uh, veterans businesses mm -hmm. and Terry Sanders does a medical outreach twice a year so we talked with Terry and the, one of the guys and we don't want to overlap so we want to create more Mm -hmm. So we did is Terry does the health care on that, and Terry's going to be a big part in this as well. Yeah. He's going to come, he's going to do his benefits, talk about it, and we're going to bring in um, multiple agencies from the state. It's going to be a diverse group. Awesome. So we're going to be bringing in uh, CalVets. is going to come in and talk about their new programs. Caltrans, of course, the California Public Utilities Commission, um, Veterans Farm and Coalition, uh, the Employment De Development Department, California Department of Correction and Rehabilitation, they have 7,000 jobs they're trying to fill. Wow. And veterans have preference. Yes. So the awesome. EDD is going to be there, try to help guys sign up for Cal jobs and USA oh, jobs. Love it. And then we yeah. have a lot of jobs available for those veterans' preference points. Yes. And um, Brandon University and the California Department of Business Oversight, we're, they're going to be going there as well. Mm hmm. And the main thing is going to help these guys get registered into the employment system. Mm -hmm. And if there's any veterans who want to own a business, or who own a business, or disabled veterans who own a business, there's a lot of set-asides and preferences and programs available for those veterans. Yes. So we want to... Um, make that more available yeah. and make it more well-known, but there's probably a lot of people who don't even know that all this exists. Exactly. You have to dig, and so you're kind of making it easier to just present it like kind of at a fair feel, right? Exactly. Kind of like a career fair, we're but... have a couple presenters, yeah. and, and we have a tables in the back, right. so they can right. have one-on-one -on -one interactions after the mm -hmm. presentations. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the biggest thing is a lot of the veterans wait way too long yeah. before they know about it, before they apply for these benefits. Absolutely. So we're trying to bring it into the rural community yeah. and reach out because there's not a whole lot of um, outreach from the state to rural areas. A lot of those those to the urban area and they have all these resources and, yes. and we're all left out. We're under historic, we're historically underutilized business zones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's all these benefits we want to just bring into the community. So we have only like a minute left. So when and where and those it's details. August 12th, mm -hmm. Jackson Civic Center. Mm -hmm. um, Is that a Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Okay, it's okay. A nine to noon. Okay. Uh, Motherload um, dot eventbrite dot com to register. Mm -hmm. um, Victory Village Amador. 
victoryvillageamateur.org. Also, you can go online and register, or you can just show up. Um, yeah, I'd like to go. I'd like to come. Yeah, to about it. as an employer and, mm -hmm. you know, to get uh, connecting with people and, yeah. and, you know, and learn more about it myself. And this was birthed out of the, um, the, the collaborations we do on the every other I was going to say, it sounds like and you're you did a spoke. Yeah. You're yeah. a spoke person that one time. Exactly, so, yeah. Because yeah. well, I was talking about Celebrate Recovery and how yes. it's a great way to help veterans or anyone recover from any of life's issues. That's one of our big... That's Friday nights at 6.15. We'll yeah. there at the Church of the Nazarene. And Mondays, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So good. This is an incredible event. It sounds like it's going to be wonderful. It is. It's yeah. Be great. Yeah. Yeah. And so if someone needed to contact you about services, how could they get a hold of you? Um, the phone number is 223-2286. Okay. And we're right in Jackson. Uh, we have a volunteer who opens the office up from 9 to noon every single day. Okay. And then we have appointments after that. Okay, good. Okay, so good. If you want more information about Victory Village, they're more than willing to share that with you. Um, and they're just a great resource for the community. So thank you guys at Victory Village. Thank you for having so me. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you.